it's Alex Lucas here and welcome back to the Railway. Welcome to another review. Today I have a brand new coach on Airfix, which is this, the Gotasabari Auto Coach. Auto Coach? Yeah, Auto Coach. Uh, and yes, as you can probably realise what uh, why I've got, I bought the 14 x 6 for and also this for. Because uh, the last review I had 14 x 6 and now I've got a coach to go with it. See what I mean? And yes. Yeah. Now, looking at it, it looks pretty good. I mean, yes, I have got a uh, great one, which is very nice. Nice, especially when it has, says where the name of it is called Didcot. So that's quite clever. And I got this one for £18. Uh, yes. I'd say it did, from the packaging, it does look really nice. But uh, anyway, let's get this unboxed and check out what it looks like. Let's get to that. Okay, so here we have the Grubba Summary Auto Coach rated in a box, and so without further ado, let's unbox it. On this side. So, oh, very nice, very easy. Uh, not a lot of packaging, which is uh, the air fix, so it's not a lot. And it seems to be caught somewhere. What has happened here? Oh yeah, it's got the uh, Kratz cover, which is caught, caught on the coach. Right, let's take it to the other side. There it is. Let's, let's take it out. Hmm. And there she is, but what the hell? Hmm, oh dear. The uh, coupling just, the coupling hook just went. It fell out. There we, go. there we go. And so there it is, the auto coach. And to let you know there is auto coach, as you can see, it's got the uh, windows at the back to uh, allow to be coupled to a 14 XX or water tank. Uh, and then can be driven, uh, drive the engine from the coach itself, which is quite clever actually. Where it's similarly, and the name of it is, I'm looking this side because it's a better name, Didcot. So obviously, I think you had to get it. And yeah, uh, what's the number of this? Uh, it is 54255/5. So yeah. But uh, anyway, I think it's time we go and put it up against the white background and check out what detail we have today. So here we have the Grotus Summary Auto Coach up against the background. I have some detail on this for an FX model, it's actually pretty good. So starting on the side where the driver to actually control the actual loco will be sitting or standing. Uh, and as I said, there's a nice uh, chocolate and cream livery on this. And there's also some sort of brown, sort of golden, golden uh, lining on the side, which is very nice. And yes, yeah, it doesn't doesn't have some buffers. Oh, 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 check. No, no spam buffers. Like the Fortune X with no spam buffers. Uh, and I just have to say, this actually looks pretty good. For what you actually get. So, click on here, you just go straight down, and you can see all the ins insides of it, right down there. Which is nice. I see you've got a nice bell on the top, which is really good. And then I just see the number 187, uh, which is the number of this. And then the one here, across the railway, nice emblem underneath. I just see the name is the name Did Cart, which to the other side, it's uh, sort of worn a bit and it's sort of like um, not there. I mean, like half it's there, always is a Did there's no O and T there. Uh, but as you can see, they've got steps there which go into that door, which is quite unusual because obviously you've got a single door with no steps, or one step up. Uh, and then you've got a door with steps and a handrail, and you've got a double door with mm, just a stand for people to go on the platform, which is quite unusual. But then, at the back of the coach, then you've got uh, another door at the back to allow people to transfer, maybe coaches, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I 
purpose just to find out where, where we are. But uh, yeah, quite a good coach, isn't it? And yes, well, I have noticed that when I was trying to put it onto this piece of track here for the white background, and it was running off, I had to make it really level. Um, so it should be good for the hill test. Yes, the return of the hill test. So without further ado, let's go and do that. And so there is the Great Summary Auto Coach ready for the hill test. So without any further ado, I have noticed that the signals are all over the place. And let's do it. Right, the C right there, so just give me a little nudge. And off we go. Not very far off, isn't it? I'm afraid it's fine, but uh, on corners, yeah, it doesn't like corners, but on straights, there we go. No nudge there. It goes quite far, but corners just kill it. So it's not, not, not really the best thing. Uh, but, so yeah, good, look, good to know that uh, straights can be going, but uh, on corners, it, it just kills it. But uh, anyway, let's get this up to the Great Western Marine 14 XX and then how it went around the layout. Because obviously, basically, I, I, I've kept the same engine from the last video, so not really much difference there. And so there is the auto coach cover up to the 14 XX and ready to go. So without further ado, let's get it going. And of course, like I said, you've got the Great Western Marie 67 xx or power tank. And obviously, the large Pro Racer is that same position, so let's get the power tank going. Whoa. And obviously, there's one lot of rubbish left. And then of course the long one pass. Okay then, and so with that, that's all for Tom for today's review. 
hope you enjoyed it. I mean, have to say, the 14 XX can't go out on an auto coach because that, that's really what they were a coach for, uh, in my opinion. And also the freight trains as well. And basically, on everything that was small. Um, but uh, yeah, and they're also quite common in the Britain railway period in the old days. But uh, anyway, I thank you all very much for watching and do consider liking and subscribing and if you want to you can put that in the comments, you don't have to but you can, uh, what you're on your thoughts on the auto coach and uh, yeah. I think I'll just see the auto the, 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 the train come around one last time. Bye everyone.